Hello, here once again with two shortcuts. This time with the possible solutions for the error your STV is blocked, call the provider. You may see this error message displayed on any IPTV box or an STV emulator that is being used in a compatible device. Some of the reasons that may trigger this message are an expired account, an incorrect portal or a URL address linking to your STV, and a banned MAC or IP address, just to name a few. One of the solutions to fix it could be as easy as rebooting your device. If it doesn't work, then maybe you just need a reauthorization of the service, which in many cases it could be done by yourself or by asking the person who created the account to do it for you. Assuming, of course, that your donation of service is not expired. Now, depending on the service provider you have, they may have a web page similar to the one I'm showing on the screen, uh, where they may allow the end user to change or refresh the service in real time if it's necessary. Or they may have a supporting page where you can report the problem and then you wait for the solution via an email, which could take up to 24 hours. Regardless of the path you use, you will need the account credentials that were given to you at the time of the purchase. If you made the purchase through a reseller and he or she didn't give you the account information, then you will need to get in touch with him as he's the only one who has access to the account to change it or request a refresh. Now, assuming you do have access to your account, after login, the first thing you should do is to verify that the account or donation is not expired and then verify that the portal URL address is the same that you have in your IPTV box. If that information is updated and correct, then click on the option IPTV Reset. Then reboot your IPTV box by disconnecting and reconnecting from power and after booting up the problem should be solved. If, after rebooting, your IPTV box is still showing STB block and you already verified that your donation is valid and the URL information also match your IPTV box information, then try using the full portal URL address if it was provided or just request a portal change that in many cases is the way to go. Either way, don't forget to update and save the changes in your IPTV box. Then reboot by disconnecting and reconnecting from power and the problem should be solved. Another very important thing is to avoid exposing or sharing the MAC address of your IPTV box as it could end up being emulated in another receiver or IPTV app by the scammers. This may be another reason why your receiver may be blocked as the service provider could detect and block what they consider abnormal connections, like when the same MAC address shows connected simultaneously in different devices or different locations. Also be aware that some service providers do not allow VPN or proxy connections, and that could be another reason why your STV is blocked and possibly banned from future connections with the same provider. So make sure that is not your case. To prevent your MAC address from being banned, go to your account or ask your reseller to lock the connections to a single internet service provider and also block connections from any country other than where you live. But be careful locking to a single internet service provider as it may be inconvenient if you don't have access to your account because if you want to move your IPTV box to another address, it will be automatically blocked. Although all you have to do is resend authorizations as we mentioned before. I hope this information has helped you solve your problems. If so, please help others by sharing your results, either positive or negative, and please help me grow and maintain this channel by subscribing and checking the little bell to be reminded for an upcoming video tutorials from Two Shortcuts or TwoShortcuts.com. Goodbye.